guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cheyenne and you are watching Shy TV. in a while because I literally have been busy with like applying for jobs and I've just been like kind of stressed so I haven't really like thought of new content to put but today I got time because I have a story for y'all so 10 minutes ago I just got kicked out of the nail salon I you know how everybody does like oh my gosh I went to the worst rated nail salon or the worst makeup artist on Yelp okay well I did that accidentally and I went to the worst rated nail salon in the area and I never used Yelp and my friends always be like Cheyenne you should use Yelp well today I learned that I should have used Yelp so let me tell you the story because well in the gist has never happened to me before but yeah i just got kicked out the nail salon so i just have to come share the story with y'all because them folks are trifling so i've been to them a couple times first i went for pedicures because i was nervous to get my nails done so like okay y'all do pedicures straight like i don't really care i'm not too uh, about pedicures so okay went they did my pedicures came back let this like one of the younger girls do my nails jack my nails up like i had to go back file my nails down and the shape I was just like, okay, I'll just never let her do nails again because she's young. Obviously, she don't know what she's doing because every time I come in there now, she's going to be touching nobody's hands. So, I'm like, y'all tried me. So, I came back and I was like, okay, I'll let this old guy do it. He couldn't even do a pedicure. Like, I had to go back and tell him to shape up my toes and stuff. I will show y'all my feet, but mm -mm, mm -mm. I had to tell him to go back and shape him because literally all he tried to do was clip my toenails. And then put polish on them like, sir, you have to file my toes so they can be even. My nails, please and thank you. But anyways, I just thought he was being real lazy because he didn't put no love or no care or anything into my foot massage either. Because you know, they're supposed to get the knots out of your feet and everything. I'm just like, okay, I don't feel the love. So I'm like, whatever, let's do my nails because they look a hot mess and I need to do my hair. And the only reason why I really am pressed to do my nails most of the time is when they're lifting in the back. And I have to like wash my hair like I have to do my hair so that's been the past few times where mind you my hair looks a hot mess right now I'm on like day five or I don't know and I also just woke up like I literally woke up made sure I was there when they opened and got my stuff done well tried to so the first time he did my nails I didn't like the shape so I was telling him to fix that and he did them too thin some people like thin nails but I was like okay whatever so go back go home I had to break a nail oh no 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 he told he was clipping my okay that's what happened he was clipping my nails off and he went like these well they were my real nails these my nails are this length like these are my real nails I haven't I don't use tips when I get SNS so I was just like okay my nails I have broken he had clipped them down or he clipped one I was like what are you doing he was like if you don't clip it water's gonna get into it I was like that's never happened to me you need to put on the nail the right way and that won't happen why would I get home and to wash my nails I go like out look my nails broken off because it got wet so I'm just like I literally didn't do anything but I could still smell the glue so I was just like okay so I go back the next day asking to fix a nail he does cool go home break another nail I'm just like okay this is ridiculous so it was already too late and I had to go to work so I'm like I'm gonna come the next day so I called the lady and she was just like um he doesn't work tomorrow or the next day. But when I called, I was like, hello. And it sounded like she already knew my number. Because she just had the worst attitude. She was like, um, the guy you need won't be here. I'm like, can you fix my nails? She's like, no, because he's the one that service you. I'm like, but if I don't like the way he's doing my nails, why can't you do them? Because evidently, she's the only one in there that know how to do nails. And it's only ever two or three people in there. So I'm just like, why you can't do them? And she's just like, no, I can't do anything for you. And I'm at this point, I'm like, can you just take my nails off and give me a refund? She's like, no. Okay, lady. So he's like, she's like, you have to wait till he comes back. 
So Sunday, Monday passed. Cool. It's Tuesday morning. And by this time, I done broke about almost every nail on my finger. Like, I already have, like, three nails broke because they cracked from being so weak. And then, yeah. So, I go in there and I ask him to do my nails. He's like, I'm really just asking, can you, like, add more, like, powder to my nails? Like, just do a few more layers. He was like, I told you to do the dip with gel and ombre. I'm like, sir, if you can't do regular nails, why am I going to trust you to do ombre? That's not what I asked for. So just dip my nails how I want you to and we'll be okay. Like, I don't care. So he's dipping them and I had to get my, look at my nails first. The main issue was he just couldn't, before he did them too thin, he didn't do the shape right and he filed like, he painted like on top of my cuticles. So I was just like, can you, I need you to fix all that. He was like, every time you come in here, you ask me to do something different and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, at this point, can you just change my nail color? Cause I'm tired of seeing this ugly burnt orange. He's like, no, you'll pay more. I said, I'm not paying no more money. So he just continued to do the same color and then he does one layer. And I'm like, can you do another layer? He was like, I got kids at home that I take care of. I don't care if you have kids. I can have three kids and be a single mother. You don't know how old I am. It don't matter. You don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why you try to bring your kids up into the situation. Because if you would have did your job, I would have to keep coming back up here. Okay? Period. So it don't even matter. I don't know why you try to throw that in my face. And it got to the point where he did dipped it. And I'm just like, okay. If I have five of my nails already done and you're doing five more, why wouldn't you continue to dip the other five that were broken off so they'll be the same thickness? And he was just like over it and tried to argue with me. I was just like, I don't know what you're talking about, but mm -mm. so it got to the point where he was just like, how about I give you $30 and you leave? I was just like, I mean, I didn't pay that much. <laughs> I paid more than that but I was like that's fine and he was just like okay and I was just over at this point I was just mad I was dead for real woke up at like 9 40 to make sure I was there by 10 so they could do my nails and he was just like okay leave and don't come back I said thank you because I'm not coming back but mind you I was trying to figure out how I was gonna get my $70 back for my nails and my toes because you did a bad job on both of them Y'all did not service me properly. That was, I just, just know I got my money back. One way or the other on top of the $30 that he gave me in cash. And what I go do, I went to the store, bought me some acetone. If this will focus. Y'all who know me know I can be very rude. I can, but I try to be very nice because he was already talking in circles and I'm like, okay, I don't want them to say they're not going to do my nails anymore because either y'all going to do my nails or y'all going to give my money back and they weren't giving my money back. So I'm like, okay, so y'all going to do my nails. But it's like, it got to the point where I don't even, like, I did not care. So when he said he was giving my $30 in cash, I'm like, okay, well, I'm already getting my $70 back. So that's a little $100 come up. Thank you. Bye. The only thing I'm mad about is because you made me miss out on some extra sleep. These were at one point, these are all my nails, and then a couple broke off just because of me. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, these are all broken off. So at this point, I'm like, I might as well just cut all my fingers off because. And then when I keep telling him they're so thin, I'm like, they're so thin, I can literally bite them off like. Maybe not that thin, because I just got them done, but they're very thin. So, I'm just going to, oh shoot, that broke off too easy. I'm just going to clip my nails down and soak them off and give them some time and then go get my nails freaking done again by somebody else. So, I'm just 
I just thought that was so crazy that they really kicked me out of their nail salon because I've never been kicked out of a nail salon before. Bottom line is when you go to places, check out their Yelp. And shout out to you, Manny, for putting me on the Yelp because I never looked at like, look at that girl. I look like a little baby kid. Oh, God. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like, all that. And when you subscribe hit the notification bell so you can see when i post my latest content and thanks for watching my channel i will see you guys later bye